So for this week's video, we wanted to compare American and Swedish Christmas traditions. I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, come on, are they really that different? They are. Yep, pretty much. Let's get crackling. Get it? Crack it's a fire, so it's crackling. Instead of cracking. All right, so Lauren. Yes. You're an almost Swede. I'm an almost American. Mm. What do you think is different? And one of the things I noticed was that there were Santas everywhere. Except for the Santas looked really different. They looked like this guy, okay? And so I was like, oh, you guys have so many Santas. It's like as much as we have, but they're dressed way cuter. And then Lisa looked at me, she's like, that's not Santa. <laughs> okay. These little guys, they are more like something that you would see in the woods, like, from old tales. They're like gnomes. Yeah, not elves. We call them house gnomes. Who's Tom Thai? No. Uh -huh. Who's Tom Thai? And you see them pretty much everywhere around Christmas time. Our Santa Claus looks pretty American. Is he fat though? Yeah. Is he? Yeah, not American fat. I mean, American <gasps> fat is always <laughs> chunky. I would say our Santa is. And I also wonder what you think about Advent and like the celebration of Advent. Okay, right. So I would say that America is a much more religious country oh, as a whole. Yeah. Like yeah, total. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Every Sunday in December, you light a new candle around the wreath, and then by the time all the candles are lit, it's Christmas time. We only really do that in America in church, as far as I know, as far as like friends of mine, I've never seen anybody do it except for a church. Swedes, basically everybody does it. Sweden. Sweden. And Sweden is not a really <laughs> religious country. So this tradition has kind of moved from religious to, I guess... It is a cultural, cultural. like Christmas tradition. That is really also all about Hinge, just getting real cozy with the Christmas celebrations. Okay, next difference is that I feel like Sweden has more actual days of celebration leading up to Christmas. In America, yeah. it's like... Christmas season starts and then it's kind of just like a build up until actual Christmas. In Sweden, they have Advent where they're celebrating every Sunday. And then you also have uh, Lucia, yeah, which is... Yeah. Lucia is huge. Uh, it's actually today, 13th of December. And it's, I think it's an Italian tradition from the beginning, but anyhow, we Swedes love it, and I don't know if you've seen it, it's really pretty. We sing and dress up, and it's almost like a mini Halloween, but like Christmas theme. It's really cute. And we even go to something called Julbord, which is translated to Christmas table. You go to a specific restaurant, or some really nice hotels have good um, Christmas tables, Julbord, where you eat a whole bunch. It's a, it's a beautiful buffet, and we of course have schnapps, and we sing Christmas songs, because that's what Swedes do. Okay, actual Christmas. Actual Christmas. In America, Santa lives up at the North Pole, gets his reindeer. Well, first you have to like write him a letter, right? And like, oh, you do that? Do you like leave it out somewhere? Yeah, and uh, he, like put it in the mailbox, or where do you put it? I think it it depends on the family. Okay. But you definitely have to write a letter to Santa. That's really adorable. But would you? I'm still like curious. <laughs> I'm so curious, would you write in that letter? Is it a is it a wish list? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but so do you, you also say, say like, like, I've been good, Dear promise. Santa, I've been really good this year. I would love to have blah, 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 blah. However, I was that kid that always like wished for world peace. I can't think of anything I really want. So, maybe a Barbie and world peace. You wanted Barbies? Let's move on. <laughs> so Santa gets your letter. You either go on the naughty or nice list. Then you wait. Christmas Eve comes around and you put out chocolate chip cookies and milk. Cookies and, and milk? Because you want him to be happy, so you, you give him cookies and milk. Oh. Then Christmas morning, the 25th, you wake up with a full stocking and presents underneath the Christmas tree. And then uh, usually it's a big meal with extended family in the afternoon. And what do you eat? Oi. Like what's traditional American Christmas food? I don't know, like turkey, ham. So that's basically like American Christmas Day. What about... And what happens on the 26th? Just uh, hang out, I guess. <laughs> okay. But I need to know about Santa in Sweden. <laughs> okay, so I don't... How do you do it with the kids? When it comes to Swedish Christmas, actual Christmas, we celebrate mainly on the 24th and not on the 25th. Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve is our big celebration day. Mm hmm. 
We also leave some refreshments for Santa, but not cookies and milk. We put out porridge. <laughs> so like the healthy version of <laughs> cookies and milk. And we leave it in like a pretty bowl outside, like on the doorstep. So Christmas Eve Eve, you leave out the porridge. Yeah. And then when the kids wake up on the 24th, what happens? We have stockings. Okay. Some gifts are in the stockings, but it's usually just like one or two or a few. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have a bunch of gifts on the, the tree. Mm -hmm. And then later on Christmas Eve, still on the 24th, the dad, usually the dad in the family or an adult, says, oh, well, you know what? I have to go and buy the papers I forgot, so I'll be right back. He leaves and magically while this adult is gone comes this big santa mm -hmm. dressed up like re usually like really good outfits and yes chunky outfits beard you know all the stuff mm -hmm. and he would also come with a sack of gifts and read a couple and hand some out and then he would take off in my family maybe weird maybe not i don't know but we would also give our Santa when he came a, a snaps. So a little shot of something really hard. <laughs> so that's kind of what we do. We watch, this is the holy grail. This is like, you don't mess with this, but at three o'clock PM, mm -hmm. you watch Donald Duck. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, what? No, it's like, that is happening. The whole family, even, even like adults? Yeah, everyone gathers around the TV at 3 o'clock to watch the same show every year. And it's a compilation of different Disney movies. This is so weird. <laughs> oh my god, but like, wait, what I'm talking about, I'm like, is this real? This is really... This is really strange. It doesn't change every year. No. It's the same thing over and over again. Yes. The so, only little piece that, that is changing is like a, a tiny part of um, like Disney news, like a new film that year. But that's all. Other, other than that, it's all the same. You know, these cups are really small. It's like four sips and it's gone. Other than these like hundreds of differences, what are the similarities? <laughs> In both places, of course, the the holiday is about gathering family together, um, being around people that you love and sharing that time together and creating a special atmosphere, um, exchanging gifts, celebrating with good food, um, Santa. However, I will also say, having celebrated in both places, in the States, the, there tends to be a much more commercial aspect to Christmas. Now, don't get me wrong, that exists here in Sweden too. However, it feels like on a much different level in America. It feels a lot more in the States, like the consumerism has really affected the spirit of the holidays and it doesn't feel like that here. Not as much. Not I as will much. agree because I've also spent quite some Christmases in the States by now. It's not about giving insanely expensive gifts or showing how much you love someone in money. Like that's a terrible concept, that's a terrible idea. Mm. And that's why it's a little tricky when giving gifts has become such a, a stable of showing love and gratitude around Christmas. And don't get us wrong, like we love Christmas gifts and we Oh, we are huge gift givers. Yes, we love we love the the gift of giving. We really do love that. But that's not what it's about. And I think that's the that's a big focus that needs to, you know, shift. Um, for us to really be able to enjoy Christmas. One other thing that we want to touch on before we get slayed in the comments is that, of course, Christmas celebrations in the States and in Sweden vary significantly based on the family that you're from, the culture that you grew up yeah. in, yeah. and uh, your location within those two countries. <laughs> so please put that hat on as you think about the stuff that we uh, that we said and as you go to comment about how wrong we are about a uh, certain tradition. But please so. do comment about how differently you might be doing things because that's super interesting. All right, you guys, that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We enjoyed making it. Hope that you enjoyed watching it. 
I have an almond in my mouth, so <laughs> I can hear that. that. <laughs> Next week, we'll be right back here in these exact same seats, and we will be talking about how to have the best possible winter experience using the Danish mindset of Hygge. And I probably didn't pronounce that right, but that's how we're saying it. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the weekly friend letter that we're sending out on Sundays. We're having great conversations on all topics, high and low, and it's really a lot of fun. So we'd love to see you there. Well, we will see you guys next week. Maybe even still with our tiny little cups. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Bye. Can I have a refill? Yes. Thank you. Did you put vodka in this, by the way? Um, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I did.